A very good afternoon to all of you. Cataract surgery under conventional microscopic illumination can be challenging in uh, eyes with dense corneal opacities uh, due to poor visibility of the lens and interior capsule. So in patients with corneal opacities, light from the microscope is unable to enter inside the eye and it's get, it gets scattered back, resulting in poor red glow and hence decreased depth perception, resulting in high interior segment surgeon's nightmare. So various techniques are there to enhance the intraoperative visibility in such eyes, like use of uh, intraoperative uh, tripen blue dye, creation of pupillary sphincterotomy, especially if they are adherent glaucomas, and use of endoilluminators that can be placed either in the interior chamber or in, uh, through the pass planar. But why chandelier? Why the conventional light source doesn't work well in these cases? So with 20 gauge surgery, they, we used to use uh, uh, halogen and metal halide as a source of uh, illumination. But when we shifted to 27 gauge or smaller gauge surgery with halogen or metal halide, we could achieve only 50% of the brightness. Now to compensate for de this decrease in brightness, newer light sources like xenon and mercury vapor were introduced. Increased lumens of light with the xenon light so sources are substantial. Even with 25 gauge optic fiber, uh, we can achieve the illumination which is equal to or brighter than the conventional light source. There are several standalone uh, xenon light illuminators that are commercially available such as Photon, Acuras, Bright Star, Constellation or Stellaris PC. Uh, in our center, we use uh, photon as in routine. Mercury vapor illumination is a powerful uh, illumination source as compared to xenon arc with luminous e efficacy of up to 402 lumens. Now, interior chamber illuminators uh, using a light pipe has been reported to be uh, successful in helpful in mild to moderate uh, cases of corneal uh, opacities. But the, it's a very simple technique, but the only problem is uh, you, need to, you need one assistant to hold the light pipe in position in case you want to do bimanual manipulations, while these problems are not encountered with the chandelier illumination. So how does the chandelier system work? So as we have seen that uh, in patients with corneal opacities, light falls on the cor uh, cornea and then scattered back because of the corneal opacity and this causes poor red glow. With chandelier's wide angle illumination, <clears throat> when the light falls on into the retina, it gets reflected back towards the cornea and hence it, uh, the corneal opacity is uh, bypassed and you get a very good red glow. So the advantages of the red glow, we all know, uh, it gives a very good depth perception, uh, allows easy, easy chopping of the nucleus, enhances the view of posterior capsule and helps in subsequent steps like cortical aspiration and IOL implantation. It is specially useful in one-eyed patients who may, be at, who may be at high risk candidates for combined corneal transplantation and cataract extraction, where we may feel, we feel that they may achieve good adequate uh, vision uh, after cataract surgery alone. However, we are reluctant to touch such cases fearing poor intraoperative visibility. So here is one such case. Uh, can you play the video, please? So as Dr. Ritesh has mentioned, you just place the uh, chandelier uh, illuminator through the pass planar route. And this black foot plate uh, holds the uh, foot plate in position. So this, this is without audio. So, so you just uh, stain the capsule with the tripen blue dye under microscopic illumination. And once that is done, you switch off the light and now you can see that this excellent red glow, which was not there earlier, and you can complete your capsular excess very easily. There is good depth perception. We can chop the nucleus safely under direct visualization. So all this is done under retroillumination. The microscopic light is switched off at uh, this stage. And in case in between you need to take out your phaco probe and inject visco, you just uh, you, you can switch off uh, switch uh, off the lights and switch on the microscopic light. So after the cortical aspiration, you can just place the uh, intraocular lens 
under excellent red glow. Heptics are placed inside there and once the surgery is done, it's very easy to take it out. Just pull it out and it is self-sealing. So you need not place any suture at the end. And this was another case of uh, blast injury where the, there were multiple corneal opacities, almost no visibility of the lens or interior capsule. So we uh, used scandular illumination to complete the surgery. So can we go back to the presentation, please? So the advantages of uh, chandelier illumination are smaller gauge. Uh, the design of the chandelier allows easy entry without any conjunctival peritomies. Uh, it's self-retaining by virtue of the, its design, so allows bimanual procedures, <coughs> provides wide an angle illumination, and when placed behind the cataract, there is fourfold increase in contrast and twofold increase in resolution. Causes very less corneal scatter and better interior segment visualization. It may avoid the need for high risk open sky cataract surgery and easy to remove leaves self sealing uh, wound. As with uh, other illuminators, phototoxicity is a concern, but it is less of a concern in cataract surgery because of its shorter duration. So, to conclude, chandelier illumination is a very helpful technique for enhancing intraoperative view of crystalline lens for safer phaco emulsification through hazy cornea. It provides high intensity, hands free source of endo illumination and can be safely adopted by most cataract surgeons in the presence of uh, mild, moderate to even denser corneal opacities. Thank you. The important thing here is uh, once you put the chandelier light, you have to switch off your microscope light. So uh, it's a negative illumination which gives you the red glow. And uh, with this negative illumination, all the opacities like corneal opacity or medial haze in the anterior segment is gone and you are only able to focus onto the target organ, that is the intraocular lens, the uh, intraocular crystalline lens. And uh, with this technique, you can uh, do cataracts in extremely difficult uh, in, uh, hazy uh, media and you will, uh, you will get out with uh, a good result. Any questions from the audience? Any comments? Sir? That was a good presentation. No, starting from uh, uh, simple ways, no, depending upon how the opacity is, it starts from just from scraping the epithelium, and even the application of glycerin sometimes makes things look so good. No, it was cornea is so hazy, and you just put a few drops of glycerin, and then the cornea clears so nicely where you can. Uh, and people who have lumera, no, the retroillumination helps to some extent, but there are some malignant cases like what you are showing where. Really, it becomes a nightmare if you start a phaco and in between you get caught, especially yes, if you're exactly. doing the soft cataracts. Mm -hmm. Even the hard cataracts you can chop in the center, yes. but the soft become nightmare sometimes because you, you don't know where it is, you don't know where the trench is, you don't know how deep it is. So somewhere this uh, Chandler system would really help in cases like that. So especially, we'll have to especially be high risk cases like one eyed patients where we, we don't exactly, want any yeah. other problem to, to be there. Because already they have compromised vision. Mm. 